What's up, everyone? This is me, Dre. I was just on CNN.com looking for some reference information to go by. And uh, one of the videos that I found was of a recent incident that happened in California where a gang of police beat the shit out of this guy who fled on a horse. Uh, the way the story goes, let me just read a little bit of this. Now, this happened uh, Thursday. Um, Thursday afternoon, be the incident began when deputies tried to serve a search warrant in an identity theft investigation, according to San Bernardino uh, County Sheriff's Department. A gentleman, his name is Francis Pusock. He um, was being served a warrant, and for whatever reason, he decided to flee. Now, when you're looking at this incident and the incident that happened uh, with the gentleman that was shot in South Carolina, um, you see where one cop in one instant shoots the gentleman and this gentleman flees and nothing happened to him. And this isn't uh, because one guy was black, one was white, but you kind of, it makes you wonder really, it does make you wonder because um, one, now you have cops whooping the shit out of a white guy, but the white guy leaves out of it with at least some bumps and bruises, black guy, flees a cop get shot eight times in the back um so that's just something to think about right there but with this story uh francis pusock mr pusock he somehow managed to find a horse and led these police on a chase that lasted from what i heard about three hours now with that obviously cops are going to be pretty pissed off and now from the video that i see on cnn.com Everything kind of came to a close when the news helicopter flew over the horse. Horse got spooked, uh, bucked Pusak, and he fell to the ground. Immediately, he surrendered himself, put his hands behind his back, offered no resistance at all. And the first two cops pounced on him, started raining down punches, knees. Uh, it's basically almost like a King of the Ring style you know, wrestling match where they just dumped on this guy. And then all of a sudden, a couple of other cops came in. You see a couple of them want to start try to uh, at least get a couple of shots in there. All the while, the news is filming this. So right now, 10 cops have been put on administrative leave with pay. And they show some photos. You know, he had some bruising, you know, black eyes, some abrasions on him. Um, but they beat the shit out of this guy. And this isn't uh, me saying, hey, you know, it's not fair because black guys get shot, white guy gets away. Um, we can go on and on all day about that. But this is just another instance where law enforcement meant to protect and serve. And as I said in my previous video about Walter Scott, the guy that got shot in the back, cops have a stressful job. There's absolutely no doubt about that because um, being a cop, and I wouldn't even know what it's like to put yourself in danger on a daily basis, but um, they're trained to have to deal with that kind of duress, which is why they managed to get the gun and badge, um, lose control, and you end up hurting a lot of civilians. But what these cops did to this guy is inexcusable, and this isn't me running to the cause simply because now I'm talking about a white guy getting the shit beat out of him. I'm talking about a civilian at the receiving end of brutal tactics by law enforcement. I've said this in several of my videos, regardless of the ethnicity, as a civilian, we have a right to try to protect ourselves and speak out for others that are being mistreated. And this is a clear indication when you watch this video. And I'm gonna leave this link uh, from this video on, so that you guys can see it in the comment section. But uh, the cops, I mean, they just brutalize this guy. Um, he did walk away with it um, virtually unscathed when you look at the incidents of what's happened with uh, other black people because for me I'm thinking if this was a black guy that had led the cops uh, he probably wouldn't have made it to the horse because he would have caught he would have probably caught a couple of buckshots in the ass but um, that's another story for another day anyway if you like this video hope that you like subscribe and share peace